And I personally... I, I, have no, I have no problem with hatred existing or whatever, but per personally... Personally, I, gen I don't like playing. I, I generally don't like playing bad guys unless it's like in a, like a really sort of silly context, like Saints Row or whatever. But that's just a personal thing. No, I understand. No, that makes sense. In, in Saints, in Saints Row. I so well, I'm trying to think. Now, in Saints Row, I don't mind because the world. You're basically, you know, you're basically a cartoon character. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. It's like, uh, yeah, like cartoons for adults I mean, kind of thing. It's in, really silly. In Saints, Row, I in that Saints Row 3, I consciously modeled my character's appearance and costume on Snidely Whiplash. So. <laughs> Excellent. It's got the mustache. Right, I'm gonna drop, sorry, I'm gonna drop mines okay, here. Okay, and then another one. Or wait. And then another one. And then wait. another one. There we go. Okay, right. I, I... Go on, what's up? Oh, no, never mind. Okay, yeah, I was thinking of something else. This should deal with that. Here we go, okay. ready? <laughs> oh! Oh wow! Oh, here they go. Oh, ah! Still <laughs> more of them. Yeah, that upgrade to give those mines more ch explosive charges definitely is paying off. No, hey, it's so good. It really is. <laughs> that was pretty nice. It is, yeah. I, I, I guess ultimately I still don't know why we're still so sensitive about these things. Obviously we have to Incoming. draw a line with certain things because the idea is obviously, you know, if you let, if you allow certain things it becomes a slippery slope and where do you draw the line, blah blah blah. But hatred, I just think it could be, it could end up just being a one-off thing. It could be like just one game that got released and people did it and they were like, okay, you're a bad guy, you kill innocent people, okay. Like even Manhunt, there was a problem with that as well, it was a big problem Oh yeah, that. that was very, very... Um, very graphically violent. Pretty brutal stuff. Yeah, I actually remember uh, playing that game and being like, "Wow, Wait, wasn't, this is this is heavy." Wasn't the premise that you had been like, you were like been forced into some, you know, like most dangerous game scenario by some psychopath who was making a snuff film? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a, it was a, it was a proper um, battle royale scenario, you but you're you were up. Uh, it's a proper battle royale scenario, so. You were just up against, but the thing is, that in the game, this is the funny thing, in the game, again, the justification behind the killing of these guys, supposedly, was that they were all deliberately, like, really bad people. They're all criminals of some sort. So you went from, like, I think, I can't remember exactly, but you went from, like, petty thieves all the way up to, like, oh. big, um, like, gang racists and stuff like that. You went, in, you went into the, the kind of de deeper area of people's... Uh, evil ways and stuff like that. I don't. I don't know how far it went because I actually never got to finish the game, and that's actually now I'm thinking about it. A game I'd like to play again because I never got to play Manhunt Two either. Oh, there was a. I didn't um, realize there was a Manhunt Two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a Manhunt Two, and that was on the Wii. Really? Uh, that came out around that time. Yeah, and, and yeah, yeah. Because I, I. So there was a whole I, thing about that. I mean, I just I grew up in the era when, well, as, I, as you did too, as well. Although I don't know how prominent it was in the UK. Oh, oh no! Oh crap! Oh Jesus! Sorry. Well, it's up to me now. Completely not. You, um... <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> I grew up in the era when Nintendo was the, uh... You know, the company that was most, much more, uh... Much stricter about things like... Like, what, like you know, like the Genesis version of Mortal Kombat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Genesis Mortal version of Mortal Kombat had blood, and the Super NES version didn't. Stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. No, 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 sure, sure. So they wanted to be more family-oriented, didn't they? Yeah. But I think that was an, element, an, an, uh, an attempt, along with Madhouse, I think Mad it World. was. Which... I think... Mad World, which, that's what, which thank I, you, which, yeah. I did want to play that I as well. I do too. Actually, what if... I recently, I, I got a Wii U, and I want... There's some, uh... Mm. There's some, uh... We old... It's backwards compatible, so there are some old Wii games I want to play, and Mad World is definitely one of them. Oh, wow. Well, Mad World, that's on, you know, Platinum Games. Yeah. Who I'm quite fond of. They did Revengeance and Vanquish yeah. and Bayonetta. So... Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, Bayonetta. Mm. And, uh... You ever heard of Thrill Kill? It, yes. It never got released. I did. I never played that. I never got to play and, well, it. Well, no, no, no. It did it never get no released. One, no one did, as far as I know, unless some, unless there's like bootlegs of it or something. But yeah, it was never released because it was it was just uh, right. so out there that it was. I think that was supposed to be an. an it was too silly. I think that was supposed to be an N64 game. If I remember correctly. <laughs> but yeah, it was like so like ludicrously. I don't, I don't remember exactly. But yeah. Violent and. But I, there wasn't there like a, they were they had like amputees in it and yeah stuff like that didn't yeah they? and there was like a, and it was a four-player arena yeah. based 
fighting game, but it was really brutal. Uh, it's funny you mentioned that because around, I don't know if it was around the same time, but I did play uh, Wu-Tang Taste the Pain on the PS1, which again was an like, overtly violent game that, uh, that I, I, do, I just asked, like, how did this get released and other stuff didn't? I don't understand that. Because um, you had fatalities in it, and it was all uh, based around you know martial arts, Shaolin monks, that kind of thing. But every every character had a, a, a different selection of um, fatalities, so you could do things like you know chop the heads off, rip their arms off, suffocate them, strangle them. Uh, you know you could blast them into loads of little pieces. It was I guess it was very Mortal Kombat esque, okay. um, but it still did feel very um, visceral. I suppose is the word I'm looking for. And again, I just kind of go, well, how come, yeah, how come, Thrill? I, I remember reading about Thrill Kill in like a PlayStation magazine, no, it can't have been a PlayStation magazine, like a game yeah. or Edge magazine, you know, one of those magazines. Yeah, I, I, um, I remember like back in the day, it was like all these, I see all, there was all these like uh, magazine articles, I mean, the, the game was, I'm not sure if it was, it might have actually been like more or less fully made, I think. There were definitely like plenty of... Yeah, it seemed that way, it seemed like it was released and everything, oh, no, it seemed like it, it was released, I know obviously it wasn't, but it felt that way at the time. came pretty close to release. Oh, yeah. God damn it. I guess I knew I was too young. I knew I was too young to to have been able to play it. So I kind of was like, oh, you know, if and when the chance comes, <laughs> I'll get to play it. Obviously not. Unless I don't know, maybe there's like some like what? I don't know, maybe there's like a, maybe a copy of it got you know a code got onto the internet or something. Or, I don't know. But as far as I know, it's never it's it's definitely never been commercial. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to have a look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm going to see now. One second. Find out if we find out if we can ever have let's play kill thrill kill on pointless side quest, or I play. Yeah, game man. Before. Oh my god. <laughs> no, it's still cancelled and unpublished. Oh no, it was on PlayStation. So this is on PS One as well. Okay. Um, there's a couple of others. Hang on. Oh, there's actually a YouTube video of it. How did they get hold of this? Maybe it was like a preview. They. Whoa, whoa. Sorry, it's playing in my headphones oh. now. So yeah, there's actually, and what's funny is it's using, oh my god, hang on a minute. I... No. I, I need to find out if my video editor can do some sort of like picture in picture. Do you know what, I actually might have to, you know what's really odd? Uh... You know I mentioned Wu-Tang Taste the Pain, yeah. right? I'm not even joking, these character models are very, very similar, and actually some of the moves they're using are exactly the same. Is it possible that the Wu-Tang game, it was like, maybe like they reused some of the assets or something? I I genuinely think they did. I genuinely, genuinely think they did. I wonder if it was the same... Was it... they're, 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 some of the moves in this game are exactly, exactly the same. Were they the same developer? This is incredible. I'm, I'm now going to yeah, make this yeah, up, you know. I don't, maybe the developer disappeared, but... Wait, hang on. Da, da, da. Uh... Right, hang on. Let me have a look. Midway. Yeah, it is exactly the same. Midway Studios, and they made Wu Tang Shaolin style here. There you go. Yes, yeah, so, so, so yeah. yeah. And this game. Wu Tang must have. Been 1998. So yeah, this was going to come out in 1998. Wu-Tang came out in 1999, so they literally went, we can't make this so game, so as, we're going to make this game so for you So they salvaged instead. as much as they could to make that. Okay. There we go. Incredible. Well, I learned something today. So technically, I haven't played Thrill Kill, but in a way, in a really twisted, strange kind of way, I have. You, you've, <laughs> you've played sort of its, its undead zombified form, fittingly enough. Yeah, exactly. I, I, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's so weird. And as soon as, as soon as it started playing, I actually started watching the character models and the animations. And I was like, that's actually looked really familiar. There you go then. Wow. Nintendo of America specifically used to have really strict rules on any sort of, uh, re like, re uh, religious or content with, like, religious, ap like, implications or imagery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They really, well... They, I mean, they, they play it, they play it, I don't want to say safe in terms of, you know, their wusses or anything, because they've obviously done, they've made all the right decisions, because they're still around, you know, and they're still doing very, very well. But it used to be really, um, but I understand, you know, they've, it used to be really extreme, like, like in Castlevania, like they had to like remove grave, crosses from graves and stuff like that. <laughs> Although, 
incredible. Although, they, although the, the, the weapon that was just a cross boomerang that you threw at people, that was still there. So, oh, right, nice. So, like, okay. I don't know if... I mean, like, so I guess you can use... You can use but I think that was quite integral, so it's something that you yeah. couldn't remove. But you can use your relig... They tried to just not play it You can it use up. your religious imagery to, like, as a weapon, but not to... You, you, you can use your reli religious icons to kill people, but not to mark the place where they died after, I guess, was the rule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder how they came to that decision, though. Well, they... But I, maybe maybe it was just a simple case of like they, they just Nintendo were like, can we get rid of the cross boomerang? And the developers were like, if you get rid of that, we're not giving you the game. Simple as. And they were like, okay, maybe, maybe. And it was, and it was, although it's kind of weird because they were, um, like I said, the Nintendo. On the one hand, they had this pretty strict policy in a lot of cases, but on the other hand, like weird stuff would get would get yeah. under the radar. No. Yeah. Like I mean, in, in the in Final Fantasy Legend on Game Boy, which was not actually that was not actually what it was originally called. Right. The final boss of the game oh. is the creator. As in the creator of the universe the game takes place no in. And right. And it's like and it's and the whole game it's actually, the whole game is actually really dark and it leads up to you finding out that like the universe you're in is like create you know, created as part of this game of it's 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 kinda of weird and kinda of meta considering how old it is. But it it's yeah, kinda yeah. weird because I mean it's like Like at the time like like, you couldn't, like, like they were super sensitive about anything with, like, religious implications. And yet this game that was basically this yeah, sort of, like, yeah. Gnostic parable where the, where the creator of the universe is the villain. <laughs> that got, that got through. <laughs> yeah. But then maybe that, maybe that might go from, um, well, I don't know. It may have been, it may have been seen from a more existential point of view. Um, because I guess in the East, religion's a very different thing, isn't it? They have very different philosophies. They have a very different way of thinking about things um in terms of religion and i guess in terms of maybe even the way of life oh, uh, so oh I yeah hey, health pack. oh no oh my god you're so lucky oh my god mate the thing is though that was so cool the thing is the decision about but I, no, that's what I mean. i'm wondering if they went with that idea then the decisions the thing is though the decisions about the um in the america these were made on the right on the right there's a blue box these decisions they were made by nintendo of them what's up behind oh, you god. They were made by Nintendo of America, right. not Nintendo of Japan. I don't think that. You... Oh yeah, true. Sorry, yeah, sorry. So... Yeah, yeah. That's, I don't know. It was like, like I said, they uh, they, know, they, they wanted to they wanted to avoid anything that might you know smack of controversy, but they were like just bizarrely inconsistent, or just sometimes were not really paying attention as to just what there might be that was would be. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. No. Well, perhaps they felt also in America. I mean, in. And I, I don't, obviously, I don't want to. Uh, I hope not to offend in any in any way. But I know that religion is a very strong matter yes. in um, in America, certainly for and against. Um, so perhaps they came to a compromise. So they were like, "Look, we can't put too many symbols in, but obviously, if we take too many of them out, it'll probably cause as much of a problem." You know, if if we did just one or the other. So let's try and meet in the middle and just do one of each. You know, literally come to a compromise as such. Um, because I'm, I, I'm guessing, does Castlevania have um, a? Well, of course, yeah. In order to kill, it's, a, it's a vampires, yeah. right? Yeah. So it kind of, it's kind of yeah, part so of it. In order to get rid of them, you have to have a cross of some sort. So maybe they, maybe they felt that was the way of kind of going. Well, we have to keep a cross in there somehow because it's an integral part of the whole how to kill vampires. You know, it seems almost, it seems almost silly to do a vampire anything without putting some sort of cross in there because, you know. It'd be, it would be like doing a film without religion, without talking about gods of any sort. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so I guess they had to find a way of keeping it in, but I understand that they would still have to go, well, we can't... It's not going to be an advert for Christianity, so <laughs> something's going to go. <laughs> well, the odd, thing, the odd thing is, like, a lot, like, a lot of games, they would, like... If there were references in the original to, like, gods or whatever, they would change it to, like... Uh, so, like, um... Like, I remember in uh, this RPG Paladin's Quest, they kept referencing to, you know, super beings. And it was just kind of weird. And what oh, they yeah. actually, is actually in Japanese, it was mm. God. Or gods. Yeah. And they, but yeah. they couldn't have that. Yeah. But on the other hand, they could, they were okay with calling the final boss of Final Fantasy Legend, the creator. <laughs> with a capital C. <laughs> so it's... Oh, wow. It's like, there was really, there, there didn't seem to be all that much rhyme or reason to it. It was just... No, that just I see what you mean, no, no, that Sometimes they were paying yeah. attention, sometimes not. 
Those players are like, meh, it's fine. They must have made all those decisions on different yeah, days, like months whoever, apart. Whoever was... Maybe like Final Fantasy Legend came like came into their like review office on like a Friday and they didn't really, they just wanted to get out of there like yeah it's yeah. It's, it's fine it's <laughs> fine <laughs> it's it's happy hour guys can we just hurry up please 